So it's here, it's now, it's game time. Yes. Lost to a team that had bobbed the builder up front. Tregos, what's happening? Oh look, another Tuesday night game. Oh goody. Come out to the coast, we'll get together, have a few laughs. We're away for this one. We're off to Mill Farm. It's AFC filed the Barnet and the Vanarama National League. So it finally looks like we're gonna get some players back fit again. I bet they can't wait to get back to work. I ho, I ho. Someone must have found the aircon in the cabin room. But anyway, that's another chat of bollocks. Let's get to the full news! So AFC Fylde finished fifth last season in the National League, where they played 46 times, winning 22, drawing 15, losing 9, scoring 72, conceding 41, giving them a goal difference of plus 31, and they ended on 81 points. They currently sit 15th, and their last five games have been two wins and three losses. <laughs> Dave Challoner has been in charge since the 2nd of November 2011, where he's now taken 412 games, winning 226, drawing 93, losing 93. That gives him a win percentage of 54.9. <laughs> Number nine, Danny Rowe, who has four goals, five assists in 12 games. I don't care about your I don't give a fuck. Oh shit, here we go again. The 19th for the 4th, 2019. AFC filed one, Barnett, nil. Danny Rowe with the only goal of the game. So, let's get to the grand. Let's get some team news in. Let's get three points. And then let's get a fuck out of town. Fuck you, AFC filed. Your 2022 bubble is bursting. Danny Rowe doesn't want to play for you anymore. And your part-time fans are going back to Blackpool. You bunch of wankers. Come on, Barnet. <laughs> Starting 11 for Barnet tonight in a 3 5 2. Loach in goal. Your three centre halves of Captain Cannon Reynolds, Dan Sweeney, and Ricardo Santos. Shal Alexander is your right wing back. Maro Valletti is your left wing back. Two centre mids today, Jack and Harry Taylor. Mason Clark in the number 10 role. And up front, Simon Akinola and Josh Walker. And this is our AFC Fold lineup for tonight. Oh, fuck. Ooh. Yeah! Wow, Let's what go. a strike oh, that was. Less than 10 minutes in, it's AFC file nil. It's Barnet one. Jack Taylor takes a corner. It wasn't the greatest, but we get a little bit of luck where it bounces. Santos turns. Half a volley on his left foot. Back in the net. Beautiful goal. Quarter of an hour in, we still lead 1-0. Massive letters for us there. Number 27, Hewton, dancing for our box. He went through three of ours and then had a shot and he just went wide. We couldn't put in a challenge, otherwise we'd give away a penalty. Just sitting here and hoping that you would fuck it up. Last five minutes, it's all been filed. Just had to clear one off the line. Valetti managed to get rid of that. 10 to the half. We still lead 1 0. Ephraim Mason Clark with a great opportunity. Sim feed through Mason Clark. It's taken about 35 minutes to get into the game. As a shot, Keeper parries it. It went for a corner and nothing came of that from us. It's been a good game by both sides. Half-time here at Mill Farm and it's AFC file nil, it's Barnet one. It's been a good half of football. Both teams are looking to play football. Ball's barely been in the air. Fired are a big side and they're whipping it out to the channels a lot to whip it back in. They like playing that through ball. And a couple of times they broke them through and we've had a little bit of luck to get rid of it. I'd say we've had the better of the chances. Jack Taylor hit the bar of a free kick just before half-time. Just Walker's had a shot on the edge of the area. The kick was pushed wide. Land to Valletti, couldn't get enough on it and it went wide. Sweeney's been excellent. He's commanding and demanding everything and that we look so much more comfortable with him playing. Mason Clark's probably been the quietest in this half I but like we ain't won yet and we've side. got 45 minutes to go so it's been a good half by both sides who are looking to play football. We always need that second gun. We've been saying that for the last four seasons. Come on Barnet.
couple of minutes in the second half, still lead 1-0. He gave the ball away sloppily in the middle. They've worked it well for Old. Rowe managed to get a shot off. He shoots on sight. I don't think Lope saw much of it, but he pushed it worth a corner. A couple of quick corners from them. That simple, though. Yes! Yeah! yeah! Five minutes into the second half, it's AFC file nil. It's Barnet two. Jack Taylor free kick. area Sim gets up. He's unmarked. He can't miss. Bottom left hand corner two nil. Nice to have a two goal lead. Come on, Barnet. Twelve seconds later. File just had a goal disallowed. I think the Lionos got that one completely wrong. Five minutes later. It's it. Yeah! Yes! Get in there. Come on. Are we actually winning 3 0 away from home? AFC file nil, Barnet three. That play all started from our back. Callum Reynolds wins the ball, plays it to Valetti. Valetti running down our left hand side, plays into Sim. Sim plays the ball into the box to Josh Walker's feet. He turns bottom corner 3 0. Come on. 11 minutes later. Harry Taylor. Go on, Marrow. Yeah! Yeah! 65 minutes in, it's AFC 5 nil. it's Barnet 4. Lovely little work by Harry Taylor, Dan on our left-hand side, plays into Valetti, running into the box, as a shot goes into the bottom corner. I'm lost for words that we're 4-0 up away from home. Into the last 10, we still lead 4-0. Fair play to file the 4-0 Dan and now, still trying to play some football. We've just taken our chances. Into 90th, we've just added on 4 minutes, and we lead 4-0. Haha, <laughs> funny that. So the game finished, AFC filed nil, Barnet four. Go on then, Matt. Your team just won four nil. I bet you ain't got anything good to say because all you ever say is anything bad or negative because you moan all the time. I don't praise for the sake of praising. I do it when I think it's deserved. So maybe when I do do it, it comes across as fake or forced. But this didn't feel like a four nil win for us. Fold didn't stop having a go at us all game. But we was excellent from start to finish. At four nil, Dan, Fold was still trying to play football. They didn't stop, didn't give up. They didn't capitulate and they had chances all game. So when you look at that scoreline and you go, fucking hell, Barnett have just won 4 0 away to far. Barnett must have bent them over and been all over them all game. The scoreline tells a different story. Our finishing was on point. We were just clinical in front of goal. So it shows that our finishing is getting better. And we had four different goal scorers on the night. So for Fall to be 4 0 down and still trying to have a go at us, they had the right attitude. I've seen us go 1 0 down and just shit ourselves. Could you imagine if it was 4 0 down? So we've shown we can play football. We know we can play football against teams who look to play football. We saw it last season in the FA Cup. It's just that little bit of extra. You need to find how to win ugly when you come up against teams who are just going to be physical, in your face, and lump it long. And how we played football last night is how the game should be played. Everyone was excellent from start to finish, and we can't ask for any more. So well done, Barnet Football Club. And thank you for coming over and thanking us at the end of the game. We really do appreciate it. So next up, away to Dagenham and Redbridge. You lot know what to do. Oh, and also, I managed to make it onto another list, didn't I? Ta-da! Oh,